let's talk about indirect inguinal hernias. An indirect hernia occurs when a sac develops by emerging through the deep inguinal ring and passing through the inguinal canal in the spermatic cord adjacent to the vast difference and surrounded by the coverings of the spermatic cord. In indirect inguinal hernia, the sac, the hernial sac is thin and the neck is narrow and lies lateral to the inferior epigastric vessels. The sac, if the hernia is sufficiently large, may emerge through the external inguinal ring. It will be funicular inguinal hernia or descend into the scrotum. It will be complete inguinal scrotal hernia. Right, so these are uh, coverings of the direct inguinal hernia. They include, uh, from the outside, extraperitoneal tissue, internal spermatic fascia, uh, cremasteric fascia, external spermatic fascia, and the skin. The indirect inguinal hernia may contain omentum or small bowel and has the potential to become irreducible or strangulated. The precipitating causes include smoking, obesity, or respiratory causes like bronchial asthma, TB, bronchitis, ascites, previous surgery, or for example, appendectomy, which can cause direct inguinal hernia, uh, urinary problems like uh, benign pro uh, static hyperplasia, urethral stricture, straining, multiple pregnancies, uh, chronic constipation due to anorectal structures, uh, erectile stricture due to chronic proctitis, TB of anorectum, previous anorectal surgery, rectal carcinoma or stricture due to lymphogranuloma venereum. Let's look at the clinical features. Right, so the patient uh, presents with dragging pain and swelling in the groin which is greater while coughing and standing and felt uh, together with the with an expansible pulse in complete type the content descends down to the scrotum completely the contents are either small bowel large bowel omentum or combination of all these in females, sometimes the ovary and tubes may be the content. In infants, swelling appears when the child cries and is often translucent. It is usually reducible but can go for irreducibility, inflammation, obstruction, or even strangulation. Right, so these are some of the um, examinations uh, done in people with inguinal hernias, right? So, starting with internal ring occlusion test, right? So, the internal ring or deep inguinal ring is located a uh, half inch, that's 1.25 centimeters, above the mid inguinal point, that's the center between the uh, anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis. After reducing the contents in lying down, the internal ring is occluded using the thumb. The patient is asked to cough. If a swelling appears medial to the thumb, then it is a direct hernia. If swelling does not appear and on releasing the thumb, swelling appears during coughing, then it is an indirect hernia confirmed in standing position. It is seen above and medial to the pubic tubercle. The second test is called the ring invagination test. After using the hernia, the little finger or index finger of the examiner is invaginated from the bottom of the scrotum, uh, gradually pushed up and rotated to enter the superficial inguinal ring here. 
The impulse on coughing is felt at the tip of the invaginated thing, and this test is only done in males. The next one is called the Zeeman's test. Right In this test, the examiner places his index finger on the deep inguinal ring and the middle finger on the superficial inguinal ring and the ring finger over the saphenous opening. The patient is asked to cough or hold the nose and blow. If the impulse is felt on the index finger, uh, this one, the index I, I told you is covering the uh, deep ring. So it is an indirect inguinal hernia. The next one is called head or leg rising test, right? So this is done to look for abdominal wall muscle tone and uh, malgenia bulging. So valsava maneuver is also used to check for the tone of um, abdominal wall muscle. The next one is called silk glove sign. Right, so in this case, the index finger is slightly rubbed over the cord from side to side over the pubic tubercle. The cord structures are thickened, right? They feel like two silk sheets rubbing against one another, reflecting the smooth peritoneal sac edges, right? This test is sensitive for uh, 93% Right, and specificity is uh, 97%. Inguinal hernia in females. Increased thickness of labia myos on palpation when compared to the contralateral side will be a specific sign of uh, inguinal hernia. Right, so in this picture, you can see the left inguinal hernia. Right, so in all inguinal hernias, uh, we use five fingers, right? Five fingers of the hand to complete all the tests, right? So we use the thumb for a deep ring occlusion test. Uh, we use the index, middle finger, and the ring finger in a Zeeman's test, and little finger on superficial uh, ring invagination test, right? So there are some rules you need to remember in uh, examination of hernias, right? Never forget to examine the opposite side. Never forget to do parietal examination. Never forget to examine the urethra. Never forget to check the abdominal muscle tone, right? So this is uh, very important, All right? To conclude this video, let's talk about differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis include uh, infantile hydrocele, undescended testes, femoral hernia, lipoma of the cord, hydrocele of the canal uh, of the neck. This one is called uh, in females. Inguinal lymph node enlargement, groin abscess. Right, so you can see here. Okay, so on number one, you have uh, inguinal hernia. Number two, here, femoral hernia. Number three here, um, inguinal lymphadenitis. Uh, number four, this one is infantile hydrocele. Number five, this one is a uh, saphena varix. Number six here is lipoma of the cord. Number seven, groin abscess. Number eight, uh, foniculitis. And number nine will be undescended text test is thank you so much if you like this video please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos and if you would like to support me you can check i have books in the description box right so you can click on those links and buy those books right uh they are specifically for uh united states medical licensing examinations and for iphone right but you can use them uh, to increase your knowledge if you are even if you are not planning to take those examinations until next time